All right, so in today's video, I'm taking you through how to create a um, drip email system. So this can be for you creating a course of some kind, for a program, for any kind of delivery of product or information that you want. Um, your drip could be, you know, from two weeks, you could have two emails, you could have 37 emails. It doesn't matter. I am going to teach you how to do that inside MailChimp. So first off, you need a list. Um, you would click create list over here and then go through the process. I have created a fake list, which is down here, fake list. Um, when you create a list, it'll ask you like the from email address and uh, who it's coming from. So Annie shows up as the name and all of that. I have put two fake contacts in here. That's one of my old email addresses um, in order to create a campaign. You can't create a campaign for a list that doesn't have humans on it yet. So you might have to add yourself if no one has subscribed to, excuse me, if someone has not subscribe to your mailing list yet, to your program yet, then you need to add like a fake email address or your email address, something in there just to fill space. So we're going to create a campaign. We want it to be email. You can come in here and create a landing page for your program. You can create a sign up form for your program. You can do all of the things for this list. So we're just gonna do email. We want it to be automated and we want to welcome new subscribers. So we want an education series. You could do an onboarding series as well. I'm gonna go ahead and choose an education series. So let's call this program drip email to fake list. Then you would select the list that you want this automation to go to. So we are going to select our brand new fake list. And now we're going to begin. All right, so again, we go to the triggers first, um, one day after your subscriber joins your list. I want this to be sent immediately afterwards. Click over here, trigger when subscribers are imported. Update your trigger. So this email, their welcome email, is going to send immediately when they are added to the list. We can also come up here to edit workflow settings. Right now, this is the name. It's from Annie. The email address that they're going to see is hello at anniemiller.co. Um, you can click all sorts of things here. It really doesn't matter much um, if you are just starting out. You can, if you would like to, I have had issues with this, you can click personalized to field and just put in the code for first name. Now, if the person's first name is in the first name block on your list, it should enter their first name wherever you type in this code in the email. So I have done this in the past. It works sometimes, other times it just leaves a blank space and I hate that. So I have actually stopped using the first name tag. I'm gonna keep it here just so that you can see and then come up here and click update settings. So now our workflow is updated. This is our first email. We would go in, design the email, which we're gonna, we're gonna fake do email subject. Hey there, welcome to the program. Preview text, you can put something here or not. If you don't put anything here, it's just gonna pull from the beginning of your email. So that's up to you whether you put preview text here. Um, it's obviously from Annie, and if this is in your workflow settings, you don't have to fill any of this in. And then you can push next. And this is where creating templates is a really great idea if you're going to have a drip like this. So I can go to my saved templates, and I would choose from, obviously I have a lot of templates going on here. Um, let's, we just need a welcome email, right? So I can choose from, great. Built by Annie, basic welcome. So this is my program welcome. It just pops up here. So you can create these templates ahead of time um, and then you don't have to do any of this when it actually comes to writing the email. You can just click save and continue. If you did not use a template, then you would just come in here, click in this space and write 
your email, you can format it however you want. Um, save and close, so you can put videos in here. You can, like I have down here, um, these are all clickable. So if I click on my columns, then people can click on these. They can watch a video if they want, all of the things. So, um, and this is an old template. This is not the one that I currently use. So you have freedom here to create whatever you want. We're just gonna go ahead and save and continue. So our welcome email is complete. Then we come down here and we just start creating our drip. So you can edit your drip. Maybe I want this one to send two weeks later. So this is uh, basically when they're sent the email ahead. So a subscriber is sent the previous automation email in your series, welcome to my list. That's when they're gonna be sent this, is two weeks after they were sent the first email. So then you would do the same thing, go in, design the email, then you would click on your next email. Maybe you want that to be sent three weeks after the previous email was sent. So you can go through and create as many as you want. You just add an email and do the same exact thing through these um, when you are done. So this takes some calculating. Obviously, I did this for a full year of Built by Annie. Um, that sounds daunting. All I had to do was use a year in week format. So I just went through and there's 52 weeks in a year. Um, and, you know, I basically calculated um, the drip that needed to happen on paper ahead of time, and then came into MailChimp and added all of my emails from when I needed them to be sent. Um, and obviously, then I went back through and checked. So I just started adding like this was two weeks. At this point, that would be five weeks, and so on and made sure that it added up to the 52 weeks. So um, this can be as you know, extensive as you want it to be or as simple as you want it to be. This could be two emails, this could be 37 emails. Whatever it is, that's how you do it. Um, remember that first email is triggered when a person joins the email list and then the rest just happens. You don't have to do anything after that. So we would click next once we have all our emails in there. Um, Excuse me, obviously these say that there is no email there, so that's the issue. Um, if we, well, let's go back in, I guess. Okay, we're just going to delete this for now. We're gonna delete all these just for the sake of showing you how to actually start the workflow. Um, and MailChimp does make you push delete when you want to delete something, which is really nice because it's very hard to delete things on accident in here. So we're going to continue. And then all you have to do, if there were 37 emails, these would all show up here with their triggers, with their, um, you know, whether it was two weeks apart, three weeks apart, all of that would show up here with the names of the emails. And then you just click start sending. Boom, and you are done, rock on. You've started an automation. So that is how we do that. Now I wanna go in and show you. Um, this is great on the back end for uh, keeping track of humans. So if we go in to, let's say, this is an old Built by Annie list. So this is not current people that are on Built by Annie. You can click on excuse me, a contact of some kind. And you can see what has been sent to them. So this is great for going back. Um, and if somebody says they didn't get something or it's not in their mailbox or whatever, you can be like, actually, you opened the welcome email at 6.02 on September 7th in 2017. So this is great for being able to see all that stuff um, for basically documentation that you don't have to do anything with. So uh, that is your automation breakdown. Um, that is how we create an automation, um, a drip, an email drip automation inside MailChimp. I hope it was helpful, um, at least that you 
understand how to do it now. Uh, it's going to look different from person to person, but I hope that you feel a little bit more confident with that.